Simplifying functions is rarely, if ever, cited by learners as a highlight of their mathematical experience. Wisely, common core standards avoid the term entirely, acknowledging that the skill, while important, is not one which always leads to a single correct answer. As recognized in the standards, the appropriate form of expression for a mathematical function can vary depending on the audience and the intended use of the expression. Math machine activities offer at least one specific application outside the math classroom to illustrate that simplifying functions might actually be a useful life skill. More importantly, math machines activities provide learners with rapid authentic feedback, motivation and guidance for continued work on wrong answers, opportunities and encouragement for continuing improvement of right answers, and a context and environment in which learners and instructors can work together on specific physical tasks. The goal in this activity is to achieve detailed, dynamic control of colors in the display of a video game on computer monitors or cinema projectors, emphasizing the sometimes conflicting needs to design expressions which are accurate, understandable by humans, and efficient in the use of computer time and energy. We load a task which we have saved as Better Poly's 001. The only difference between this and other tasks in the series is the expression which appears for the red component of our RGB display and sometimes the total time for which the function will be active. We can display the graph and we can also run the simulation on screen. It is also possible to use the same program to control an external RGB LED, but the on-screen display gives better color quality. The monitor may also be more authentic in that far more people work at producing high quality colors on screen than work with RGB LEDs. A team of learners might very well combine like terms as a key step in simplifying the expression, perhaps making a mistake as they do. Hopefully they will recognize from the graphs and the unexpected green display they have made an error and will work on their own to correct it. Instructors, of course, will still be needed to help with some errors. An additional check on the accuracy of the learner's expression is to enter an absolute value of the difference between the original and new expressions as the control for blue. If the two expressions are equivalent, the blue stays at zero. The solution seems correct in that the pattern of change for the green seems to match the red precisely, and the computer time required for the simpler expression is significantly below the time required for the red expression. Learners may consider correct to mean finished, but it's valuable to have them search for other expressions which might be better, at least in terms of computer efficiency. One alternative form involves factoring, which can indeed decrease the use of computer resources still further. Calculus students in particular could be challenged to take the process further, exploring the recursively defined functions. Recursive functions involve initial values in the calculation period in important ways, and we can add those to the display. If we use the derivative of the earlier expression evaluated at time t, we get a significant improvement in computer speed, but seem to have lost some precision. Expanding the scale for the blue display shows a difference of nearly 1% between the two intensities. The precision could be improved by decreasing the calculation period, but it might be better to evaluate each derivative at the middle of the preceding interval rather than at the end. Still faster performance is possible if we substitute the actual value for the calculation period and reduce the number of mathematical operations per cycle still more.